What up, everybody? It's your boy MC. Welcome to MC TV. Let's talk about Canelo Alvarez, Avni Yildirim, Billy Joe Saunders, Jamal Charlo, right? Um, first, you know, we're actually going to speak on Eddie Hearn. Um, when it comes to uh, Canelo Alvarez, he fought Caleb Smith. Eddie Hearn, um, he's the one who set that up. Um, I think it's from uh, Matchroom Boxing or something like that. It's not top rank. But um, Eddie Hearn set that up. Canelo loves fighting these European fighters. He knows that they're weak. Um, I'm not saying all of them are weak, but he knows they're just, you know, he knows what they bring to the table in Europe. Um, he looks at them as a walk in the park, which most of them are. Some of them don't even fight back or don't give it their all in the ring. Uh, I don't know what some of their uh, disposition is mentally getting into the ring with Canelo. It's like he knows he's just going to beat them. That's cool. If I was Canelo, I know I'm going to beat them too. Um, but let's keep this thing moving. Um, he likes these two-pack deals so he can foresee the future. You know, he just wants everything handed to him. He's like, likes two-pack fight deals. Well, my motto is you can two-pack fight your way out of boxing because everybody's sick of the way you're moving, dude. All this, oh, I like the two-pack fight deals. Nigga, you only like those two-pack fight deals because you get to cherry-pick two people at a time instead of having four or five people lined up with potentially three dangerous people woven in the mix. You don't like even the slightest hint of knowing that someone that can beat you would be in the mix. So you'd rather cherry-pick two solid fighters at a time and then move like that. See, that's not respectable. I like that they wanted to spend all of their money or all the money you made, Canelo, to shine you up and dust you off, right, for Mexico. But really, you're just some white Mexican who's just a big hype in boxing and hasn't done anything. But they can keep dusting you off to the day that you get out of boxing and that they have to hit the sandbox. You see what I'm saying? These folks are old as hell and they're just dusting you off for what? Okay, they're going to lose all this money, but it's not my issue. I'm not stressed. I'm living my life. I'm just a boxing fan. So everybody else is investing in you and throwing those dollars your way and not getting a return and not seeing anything exciting or seeing what the fans want to see. That's all on them and you at the end of the day. Now, let's keep this thing moving once again, right? So you want to fight Avni Yildirim, a very, very weak guy who doesn't even deserve to be really a professional like that. I think he just got placed into professional boxing. I don't know exactly what his whole situation was, but he doesn't have that many amateur fights, if I'm not mistaken. He just kind of got put into professional box. That guy um, is garbage, okay? I don't care about his past fights against some of these older fighters. For a young buck coming in, he's not, you know, what we're looking for. We're going to see how he performs against you uh, when you fight him, okay? I'm not going to be looking at that fight. I won't be paying for that fight. But I will be checking to see how you guys did and if Avni whooped your ass, you know. But uh, then your second fight for 2021 is Billy Joe Saunders, your sparring partner. Cool. Another fight that I don't want to see and I won't be paying for and I will not be watching. So if that's what you've got lined up for 2021, that's pitiful. That's sad. Those are two clear, hand-tailored cherry picks. Nobody wants to see Yildirim and nobody wants to see Saunders. You can collect them little dinky-ass belts off of uh, Saunders if you do. That's if you beat them. But I could care less how many cherry pick belts you're trying to rack up. At this point, you're, you're doing the obvious. You're avoiding the danger. And that's what everybody's looking at, you know. Um, it's akin to a cheater, you know, even though you've been caught cheating with Clenbuterol, the Clenbuterol king. Uh, it's like Tyson Fury. It doesn't matter how many belts he has. It doesn't matter how much glory he has from other fans. It matters about the truth. So I don't care if he's holding 10 belts that he won by cheating against his opponents, you know, or lying his way through it. I care about the truth. If he had to cheat to get those belts, then... He doesn't get any glory or any extra prestige on, on, on his image through my perception. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Alvarez, you got to step your game up. You got to step your game up. You got to step your game up. And, then, and also, you coming out here talking about, oh, I'm going to show Jamar or Charles. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him once for all, wait till you see what I do to him. Not quote unquote, but to the extent he's coming out, wait until you guys see what I do to Jamar or Charles. You know, he's going to end up like the rest of them. I'm going to tell you something, Canelo Alvarez. Like I said, they've been dusting you off and shining you off for all these little fuckboys you've been fighting, all these little weak-ass fighters. You keep doing that. But I can tell you one thing that I know about the LDBC. These guys, they don't get into the ring every day and train every day, coming up from the bottom every day to come to a guy like you just to lose. Look, we know and we saw what Floyd Mayweather did to you. Do not underestimate the LDBC. They will school you and make you look like a kid. And I got all my money on Jamal Chala. I think he's going to school you, and this is how he's going to school you. You may have experience. You may have a lot of money. You may have fought a lot of good fighters. You may be a decent fighter, but you have fought nobody that we have approved of. And on top of all that, Jamal Charlo 
He's got a natural ability, a natural lion's instinct. And I think you're going to have a great issue with that because all the people you fight do not have what Jamal Charles has. He comes forward with testosterone, natural testosterone, and he wants to hit you back and he can take a hit. So all those little dinky little hits with your little weak ass arms, go ahead and swing at his arms and all that. I can guarantee you Jamal Charlo will absorb your hits because if those other fighters like Kalen Smith and Yildrum and GGG and all these other individuals who are washed up, if they're taking your hits, don't think for one second Jamal Charlo can't take one of your hits. Your hits are not devastating. When's the last time you got an actual head knockout, Canelo? I don't even remember or know. So my thing is this, that hype about your power, first of all, I don't even hear hype about your power. The hype isn't that you're powerful. It's more that you're skilled and you got some power. Okay, but I know for a fact, Jamal Charles has been chasing you for three different divisions. He's going to whoop your ass. He's going to give you the ass whooping that you've been waiting for, Canelo Alvarez. Mark my words, y'all. Subscribe to MCTV.